Hi, this is Jeffrey Combs. You're watching Mega Podcasting, and you honor us with your presence. Fantastic. Morning, Mega You're so tall. <laughs> I can I can get down. Okay, let's, no, don't. <laughs> Good morning, Mega Podlings. Crazy Joe, Great Philadelphia Comic Con. I am here with one of my favorite actors, Jeffrey Combs. I uh, I first saw this guy in The Frighteners, and you stole the show in that movie. Boo. <laughs> I have an autographed DVD at home that says "My Body Is a Roadmap for Pain" that you signed. So, but my, I didn't. I didn't write that. Well, I only said. You, well, you wrote it on, on my on my desk. But, my favorite role that this guy has played is Wayun on Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and Deep Space Nine has a documentary coming out. Oh boy, it does. It's called What We Left Behind. What we? The last episode of Deep Space Nine was called What We Leave Behind. So this is a play on What We Left Behind, and let me tell you, it's rich, it's deep and varied and. And complex, much like the series itself. So we we don't have a lot of time here. You got people lining up, so I make it quick. Like you played two roles on Deep Space Nine. Three. Oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, two recurring roles: uh, Brunt and Wei That's right. And in one episode, you actually played both characters in the same episode. Yes, it was. I think Dogs of War. I'm not yes. sure it was the third to the last episode of the entire seven years of the season sort of a, an idea of, uh, of Iris, Stephen Bear, and wanted to incorporate both those roles. My idea was that they would meet each other, <laughs> which I thought would be really great. Like, I'm walk, Wayne's walking down a hall, and here comes a Ferengi, and as it gets closer, it is... Front, and they pass each other without saying a word and then stop like do I know that guy? <laughs> and turn around and even look at each other and then no I don't and just keep going but let me tell you something that sounds simple that is a lot of time and a double makeup not only for me but for a double and um, it would take money and time and uh, they didn't quite have that so I'm just blessed that to show up uh, in the same uh, episode, even though they didn't meet. How long did it take to do the makeup for each character? Was Brunt longer in the makeup chair than Wayu? What do you think? I think he was. That would be my guess. You would be absolutely wrong. Wow. Here's what. Hair. Ah. <laughs> this is basically a helmet. You glue that underneath my eyelid, around and down and across my neck, I'm encased. Nothing else more need be done except fine-tuning this. It's some applications, go to the hair, come back, do more, go back to hair, come back. It's a much more multi-step because of hair. It's the same with not just me, but any, any character. So two and a half hours for what you Hour and a half. Right. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, you got a line for me here. I appreciate your time. And uh, the documentary is What We Left Behind. It's in theaters in May. Oh. It's going to be on Blu-ray soon after. I've seen it twice. It's a glorious remembrance and uh, a nice little shiny bobble for everybody to uh, relish the glory that is through Space Night. Thank you. Okay. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them bitches. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no they look just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.